Hi, I'm Dr. Leah Austin. I'm a GP and a doctor at ZoomDoc, an on-demand video, telephone and home testing GP service. Please watch this video to the end so that you can understand how to take your test. When you receive your test kit, it looks like this. And on the side is an activation code. You can scan the QR code with your phone or you can type in the website that's on the sticker. If you do not activate the test kit, then we will be unable to provide you with the results. To prepare for the test, be hydrated, and the best time to do it is first thing in the morning as we're going to post it on the same day. I'm going to open the test kit. On the inside cover is a form that you can fill out. Please complete this. So take it all out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this cover back in the box. That's going to be handy for when we do take the blood test. So we've got a vial, some alcohol wipes and a plaster, a label for your blood sample to stick on the vial when we're ready, some lancets. Postage, we have two instructions. One is for how to post the sample and the other one, how to take the test, which we're going to go through. But please read this as well. So before you get started, please complete the label that's going to go on your blood sample. The next step is getting the blood vial ready. So open it up. It fits in perfectly with the cylinder hole in the packet and that's to keep it steady. Don't quite open it yet as we'll open it just before the blood test. And you're going to need some kitchen towel and a, or a cotton pad. Next up, it's very important that you warm your hands. The best way to do this is running your hands under the warm water tap for about five minutes. If you're worried that your hands aren't warm enough, it might be worth having a warm mug and holding that for 15 minutes before the test. You're going to use your non-dominant hand and the best fingers to use are your middle fingers. So we're going to take an alcohol wipe and just clean the tip of the finger. I'm going to grab a lancet. I've got my cotton pad handy and now we're ready to open the vial. Take the lancet, unscrew the lid in a clockwise direction, place it on your fingertip and stamp down very lightly. Next up, you want to wipe the first spot of blood off your fingertip. You can see the blood's coming out already, so don't worry if you drop it anywhere. You can always tidy that up later. You can see how easily it's coming out, given the fact that my hands are nice and warm. It's very important that you must fill the vial between the two yellow lines, otherwise we can't test. So don't worry if you need to use another lancet with another finger so that you get enough blood. Once you've filled the vial, grab your cotton pad and put some pressure over the finger and close the vial and you should hear a click so that it's securely on. Then you want to take the vial and rotate it upside down five to ten times. This step is very important so that we can get an accurate result. Once your finger stopped bleeding, please use one of the plasters in your kit. Once you've done that, it's very important to label the sample. As you can see, the label is slightly bigger than the vial itself. So please make sure that you wrap it round 
so that you can see your details properly. Then place your labelled blood vial back in the protective plastic wallet and close the plastic wallet so it's nicely securely there. Then place the plastic wallet with the blood vial that's labelled into the box. We're now ready to send the sample but please make sure that the label has been completed fully. Then you want to close the box. We're going to put it in the postage wallet. Now take your postage sticker that's prepaid and stick it on the packet. Once we receive your results, one of the ZoomDoc GPs will be in touch via email. And that's it. We look forward to helping you better your health at home.